Hi, my name is Cam, and over the course of the next 30 days, I'm gonna try to learn how to backflip. Now, this is something that I have no past experience in. Actually, I, there was one time I tried to backflip in high school, I did it off a picnic bench, and I landed on my neck and got whiplash. But besides that, I have no past experience backflipping. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just give one a try and see where I'm at. All right, I've decided to come outside. I've got a nice slab of concrete underneath me, so hopefully that'll give me something solid to take off of and get a good spring into my first backflip. And uh, without further ado, let's get it. Here we go, attempt number one. Now this is not the approach. Before I do any sort of jumping or flipping at all, I wanna make sure that I have a good understanding of what proper technique is. So tonight, I'm doing some research. It seems like the backflip can be broken down into two basic movements, jumping vertically and then tucking to get your rotation. Put those two things together and you've got the perfect backflip. Next thing I wanna look for is some simple exercises that I can practice to get comfortable rotating and to make sure my jump is getting off on the right foot. So, from my limited understanding of the backflip so far, it seems like one of the biggest hangups most people have is in the backwards rotation. It's a very unfamiliar movement for most people, and so it tends to cause a lot of problems and a lot of discomfort when learning. So I'm gonna be doing no jumping today, I'm just gonna be doing some backward somersaults, I'm gonna be doing some makakus to get a little more comfortable with that movement. And I'm gonna be doing all of that within the comforts of my room. Let's convert this room into a makeshift gymnastics studio. That was good. So the next step is to stack up some couch cushions to give me a little bit more of a platform to like roll off of. Get you a little bit more upside down, I think is the idea. So uh, I'm gonna stack these up. Easy. Easy. Last couch cushion, we got a triple. I'm only like 14 inches elevated from my mattress, but I just got a little bit nervous for doing this one when I added the third one. So uh, I can't imagine what I'm gonna feel like when I have no cushions and I'm just jumping and flipping on, on hard ground. Here we go. That wasn't so bad. Feel pretty good. Next step. Once I'm feeling confident with my backward somersaults, I move on to the makaku. This move still will allow me to feel that same rotation, but allows me to integrate a little bit of a spring into the takeoff. Oh. Ah. One of the most common misconceptions about backflips is that you have to thrust yourself backwards to have any hope of getting around. But in reality, it comes from springing upwards and tucking your knees towards your chest to get your rotation. The momentum you get from bringing your knees towards your chest is what's gonna give you the proper rotation to get around during your backflip. What I'm working on right now is getting a feel for bringing my knees up towards my chest to get a feel for what that rotation is gonna feel like once I start jumping and incorporating it into my backflip. And so far, so good. Okay, first one. Ah, I keep chickening out. <laughs> oh. I'm good. I need to commit to the flip. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, here we go.
take my successful day on the trampoline and I move over to a local parkour gym. Once I'm feeling comfortable jumping off solid ground into the foam pit, I move in a mat so that I have something to land on on my two feet. And this is where I hit a wall. No matter what I tweak, I can't seem to get around and land my flips and everything just seems to start going wrong. I finished my day off at the gym feeling a bit defeated. So, one of the things that I'm quickly learning about training the backflip is that my body is very, very sore. My ab muscles feel like they've been ripped to shreds from tucking so much all the time when I'm practicing, and then my neck hurts from a few miscues and mislandings, and so my whole body is just... <laughs> tired and sore and it just makes me incapable. So right now I'm taking an ice bath to try and expedite the healing process of my muscles and make sure I'm back and ready to go tomorrow in the gym with my muscles feeling a little bit looser, a little bit easier, and I'll be ready to go. But in the meantime, it's time for a bath. <sighs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Ow! After another day's rest, I head back to the gym to meet with my friend Jared. Jared is a professional parkour athlete and coach, and has worked doing parkour for brands like Nike and Toyota. I'm hoping that Jared can give me some advice and help steer me in the right direction so that I can start landing my flips. I think your biggest thing was your takeoff. Mm -hmm. So you were double bouncing a little bit, I just cued you to follow through and not do a double bounce and right away your back was actually started to get a little bit better. After the takeoff we focused on blocking. We're trying to get you to have straight arms and a tight kinetic chin. So no chicken winging and no loose bending back too much. We wanted a tight line of tension going from your head to your toes. And after that we focused on your rotation, thinking like you had little hinges on your hips and you're trying to close them real quick so you can drive your knees past your shoulders and that speeds up your rotations. And then I think the next progression for you would be a spotted backflip. Have one hand behind your back, one hand on your thigh, you go up and I'd pretty much just help you with height and then I'd help you rotate with the other hand so that you can understand what it feels like going just on flat ground without the fear of like landing on your neck necessarily. Because that's the biggest hurdle for a lot of people is just getting over the fear of going behind themselves and trusting that they're going to get all the way around back to their feet. So yeah, we do a spot. The next day I begin to implement Jared's advice and I begin to land flips consistently on the mat. I finish my day feeling ready to take on solid ground with a spotter. I was in at the gym, I just finished my stretching and I was doing some warm-ups in the foam pit to try and get my technique. And uh, I did a few landing on the mat, I was landing them, I felt good, I did one more. So I jumped straight up, tucked really, really late, came down, landed on my neck and my upper back. And uh, my body folded over itself and yeah, I heard like a, a crunch um, in my upper back and I just laid there for 10 minutes in severe pain. Um, now I'm going to take a few days to rest and let this settle. I'm going to go to a doctor and I don't know. I might I might have to stop. I don't know. Because right now it's uh, I'm in a lot of pain. So I'm going to take a few days to see where I'm at and we'll... Uh, We'll go from there, I guess. So it has been five days since my injury and I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I went to the doctor and there's nothing serious. It's some bruising that's gonna be painful for three to four weeks before it fully heals. Um, but no actual severe damage, which is great. The bad news is, is that it's gonna take three to four weeks for me to heal back up to full speed. 
Um, so that means I have to halt this video for now. Um, it's really frustrating. I felt like I was making a lot of good progress and there's nothing worse than some random unexpected injury halting all of your progress. So I'm sorry that it's not the outcome that I wanted and I'm sure you guys wanted to see, uh, but uh, I gotta be responsible with this and I gotta take care of my body. Um, it's frustrating, but uh, I hope you guys understand. And I, this is just gonna make it all the sweeter when I heal up and I get back in the gym and I, uh, I start landing some backflips. Before I wrap this video up, I do wanna say a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Audible. For those of you who don't know, Audible is the go-to source for audiobooks with an unmatched selection of titles in their catalog. Both me and my brother Brendan, we use Audible pretty much every day, I'd say, whether it's uh, on the way to work, when we're at the gym or working on these challenge videos, or more recently while I'm laying in bed coping with severe back pain. So whatever your situation is, Audible is a great resource to help you keep you on track with your reading goals. With Audible, you get one free audiobook every month and two free Audible originals from a changing catalog. Right now, I'm working on Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. This book was recommended to me by a friend and it's been super, super cool learning about one of the most influential men of our lifetime. So if you're interested in signing up for Audible, you can give it a try by going to www.audible.com slash goalguys or text goalguys to 500500 to get an exclusive 30 day free trial and a free audiobook of your choice. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll have another video coming out later next week. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you wanna hit us up on Instagram or Twitter, we've been pretty active on those platforms lately, which is pretty cool. So uh, hit us up there and we'll see you next time. Cheers.